Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be going over my at home gym equipment recommendation. This was actually a requested video by the beautiful Callie Andrew. Thank you so much for participating in my community questions and everyone can participate. You just have to pay attention in the community and leave your comments. And when I make videos for you, I'll shout you out. All right guys, let's go over my equipment recommendations. But first, don't forget March calendar is available. Click the link in the description box down below. If you've already signed up, you've got the email. If you didn't get it and you already signed up, check your spam, check your promotions, and let's get started. Okay, of course, number one, you're gonna need a yoga mat. That's why I put this here. I have some other equipment down here. This is, this is essential, okay? We do a lot of workouts on the ground. You don't wanna hurt your knees. I actually have a ProSource Fit mat right here that I did a review on. I'll link the reviews down below. I'll link all these products down below. You can get them on Amazon. They're affordable. This is a Lululemon mat. I love it. You know why I love it? Because it sticks to the ground and it doesn't move, but it is just so thin and you can feel the ground through the mat. So I use the ProSource Fit a lot, as you guys have seen in pretty much all my videos since I got this mat. However, my one tiny criticism it slides all over the floor because there's no grip to it. You hear that? So it's up to you what you wanna get. This is like $90. This one, 20 bucks. But it does not disappoint. It really does cushion your body, which is the point of a good yoga mat. And it hasn't fallen apart like some of the Amazon mats in the past that I just tore up by using my sneakers inside. And this one's held up. You know, I've done hundreds of workouts on this bad boy last year. So I highly recommend this. This is a must have. First one, yoga mat. Second one, you guys know we do a mixture of body weight and weight workouts on my channel. So I highly, highly recommend some weights. So I have three sets of weights as of this video, but I just ordered more because we are increasing weight this year at home. I got 20s and 25s coming because we are building a booty. If you really want to build your body the way you want it to be and have definition and look your best, I say calisthenics, body weight can do a great job, but you've got to go crazy hard 24 seven. And there's nothing wrong with that. Highly, you know, recommend. We do a lot of that here, but I also recommend weightlifting, building more muscle mass faster and it's a great way to lose weight. It increases your metabolism and it also helps with youth, you guys. I just learned recently that building muscle can actually slow down the aging process so you can look younger, longer. Who doesn't want that? So get some dumbbells. Again, these are ProSource Fit. You can find them on Amazon. You can also find them on their website, ProSource Fit. These are fives. I think they were $8.99 for a pair. So check that out. All right, these ones are absolutely crucial if you're a girl or a guy and you're trying to build your glutes. Many men <laughs> neglect their glutes, you guys. Don't you know that girls love a guy with a nice butt? It's true. Just like guys love a girl with a nice butt, you guys have to get on the glutes and the legs because that's really where it's at. Yeah, the shoulders and the arms look nice and your back. Don't skimp on the back, okay? But definitely the butt is a, is a must have. So you need ankle weights. These are five pounds each and they will kill you if you do the right exercises on the mat, pulsing, you know what I'm saying? We have a lot of exercises, a lot of videos on the channel so you can build your glutes with ankle weights. I do really recommend this as a must have. So th those will be my top three, dumbbells, yoga mats, ankle weights, must have. You know, kettlebell is great, but it's not a must have. You can use a dumbbell in place of a kettlebell, but these three things don't miss out. Next, we need some good resistance bands, you guys. Okay, these are a killer. Now, I have two types of, resist of resistance bands. We have the cloth resistance bands, which are really resistant. Okay, there's three levels. 
one medium, one light, and one super restricted. So these will help you to isolate and grow those little muscles, you know, the medius and those small, if you flex your leg, you'll see the quad and then you'll see a couple more muscles in here. These will really help to isolate certain muscles and accentuate those. And I recommend resistance bands, but they're not a must if you have a small budget. So if you're on a budget, get those three things first. And then once you save a little bit more, add to your collection, because it is a collection. If you're working out at home, you want to build your own equipment, your own little gym. So this is the first type of resistance band. This is the cloth resistance band. They're not very pliable or flexible. They're really resistant, which is really good because this is gonna help you level up. If you are a beginner looking for resistance bands, I just snapped mine, but they have elastic ones. Elastic ones snap, especially if you use them very often. So I just recommend getting a really good pair that's thicker. So it's gonna have more resistance and it's gonna probably last you a little bit longer, but elastic ones do snap. I've had so many snaps here on the channel. Okay, I would do a compilation if I could find all the videos. <laughs> so just be sure when you're investing in equipment, you're getting quality stuff so that you don't have to keep rebuying and rebuying and rebuying. Cause then that's a waste of money, right? Quality over quantity. And of course we have one last thing that's a must have in the top five for me. And then the rest I can show you, but it's just adding on to your collection. The foam roller. This thing is gold. If you are going to get where you wanna go, you need to stretch and you need to recover. And that is why you need a foam roller. This thing is gonna help you loosen up your muscles, get out the lactic acid, relieve the soreness, relieve the tension. It is a must have and it's so affordable and it's small. I have a small one. Okay. And you can get a long one if you're a bigger person, <laughs> but I don't need a longer one because I like to isolate one area at a time. I will leave a link to all these things down below in the description. You guys can check them out for yourself, but this is definitely, definitely a must have. So get yourself a foam roller. Get yourself some dumbbells, ankle weights, resistance band, and a yoga mat. This should have been my first video of the year, kind of like telling you what you need and then moving forward. But Callie, thank you for this recommendation because I really would have never thought you guys would be interested because I do say in videos, we're gonna need dumbbells, we're gonna need this, we're gonna need that, but I haven't done a full video on the collection of things that we're gonna use throughout the year. So this would be that video. These are the things you're gonna need moving forward for the rest of the year to get to your body goals and to push yourself because that's what we're here to do, you guys. We're not here to stay the same. We're here to change, push ourselves, and look sexy. Yes, okay. So those are the top five. Let me give you guys two more, seven total. These ones are not necessary, but they are good. This one is an ab roller. This thing will kill you. If you're working on toning your stomach, core, tightening, this thing is a killer. What you do with this is you get on your knees and you roll your body out as far as you can go, flexing these core muscles, and then you pull yourself back in. You're gonna need to train on this thing, and we can do a video if you're interested on training on this thing to get to where you build up the strength to go all the way out and then all the way back in. It's core, it's arms, it's back, it's all upper body and it will shred you. So this is a great tool, especially if you're toning, if you're focused more on Pilates yoga, you don't wanna gain, you don't wanna gain muscle, you're just trying to tone and lean. This bad boy is so good for you. And then of course, the medicine ball, the weighted medicine ball. This one is one of my favorites to use in group workouts. So if you have a partner, partner workouts, you can do those twisties where you hand the ball off to each other. I love using this for my Russian twist. I love using this for wall squats. You throw it up on the wall, you squat down. This is a great tool, a great weight. This is 10 pounds, it's really heavy. So this would also be 
one of my recommendations, but like I said, work on those top five. Get the three major ones first. Obviously the yoga mat, dumbbells, ankle weights first, and the resistance bands, then the foam roller, then this, and then the ab roller. So those will be my seven recommendations for you guys. I hope this video helps. I hope you guys invest in your bodies, invest in yourself. This stuff is not very expensive, so it's definitely doable. Do one a month for the next seven months. You can save up, cut the coffee, cut the Starbucks a couple months and get yourself this gear. It's gonna take your body to the next level, okay? Don't forget guys, get your March calendar if you haven't got it. Also, I will leave all the links to this down below. Thanks again, Callie, for the recommendation. If you guys are ready to work out, I'll leave a workout here on the screen. Click the thumbs up, click the subscribe, and smash the bell so you get reminded to work out with me every day so we can get those goals started. All right guys, bye.